So I believe there is a total eclipse of common sense going on, actually. That's Absolutely, what I'd like yeah. to talk mm -hmm. about. But let's kick things off with, with Angela Rennie, because this story now has been banging around for about, what, a month? Yeah. And, you, I mean, normally speaking, it was Alistair Campbell himself who said, if you're the story for more than six days, you should get out of the job. Yeah, and how would you make it go away? Maybe by releasing the tax advice yeah. that she had. That would make it go yes. away. Yes, or maybe she giving an interview about it. She's Perhaps. not. She's not. She's not really the first socialist, though, to be really in favour of taxes until it comes to paying them yourself. Yes. I was talking to a good friend of mine who's definitely much more left-wing than me, and mm. they were really defending the kind of current tax burden right. that we're under at the moment. Which is saying, huge, by the way. Yeah, and saying they believe in taxes because it enables the redistribution of wealth, which of course it doesn't. <laughs> but then, do you know what? The very next time I saw that friend in the space of about a week, yeah. they were asking me to witness legal documents to make sure their children didn't pay inheritance tax. Isn't that a funny thing? So that's the thing. Everyone well, the in taxes I don't, I don't they care. Have to pay I it. mean, this is a relatively small amount of money compared to some of the Conservative, you know, ministers that have mm -hmm. been up against all sorts of tax um, questions. And I, but that's not what I worry about. I worry about hypocrisy, and I worry about Angela Rayner, who loves holding people to account and is so scared of actually addressing the issue. Yeah, that's the thing for me. It's mostly the hypocrisy of the whole right. thing. Um, you know, she her position in the Labour Party is. Kind of, she's a Rottweiler. She really calls so out. Very the quiet at the moment. Very quiet Rottweiler. Very quiet at the moment. Um, but it she was must have been muzzled. It was the same with the Lib Dems, with the post office yeah. stuff. They're very quick to call on everyone else to resign, yes. and then when it happens to them, kind of moan that it's a toxic right. politics. And I just think it reeks of hypocrisy. And I, I mean, think you can't expect people to remain quiet and not. I think that's why she's been yeah. the story for so long. If she wasn't someone that was constantly calling for others to resign, right. this I think people would. And also, all of these it. stories, Esther, as well. And I know I saw you on the talk, and I know yeah, you don't it's think not it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a big. But difference. I tell you what, I tell you why it is though. It's partly because I think she's been so clear about saying that it was definitely not her second home. Yeah. And if she hadn't said any of that. That would be one thing. But they've now uncovered pictures of her. Just they've got neighbours who say, well, she was never living there. Yeah. We've got, you know, removal men saying, when we went to move the, the stuff from there, there was nothing in it. You know, we've got people saying from the other house that that was where she went. We've now got a picture of her saying, I'm home with my cats in the house that she shared with yeah. her husband. And it is pretty unusual, you'd have to say, mm -hmm. to, to insist that for the first five years of your marriage, you didn't live in the same yeah, house that, as your that, husband. That's, that's, that's and none of it makes pretty... any sense. And if she hadn't done all of that, Nobody would have cared. Yeah, that's clearly a lie. And there's clearly a lot of inconsistency going on here. I think I think the reason why I, this is not a big deal for me is because I feel like people are concerned with something bigger. Yes, it's, it's hypocritical, but the bigger problem is the caliber of our politicians. Yes. Right, the fact that we have to go after politicians for a potential breach of 1,500 quid maximum. Yeah. There's a bigger issue here. If we were, if we didn't feel like we were being taxed out, like, you know, to the, to within an inch of our lives, mm. that taxes weren't so ruinous in this country, we, we, we yeah. really wouldn't care. This is not the first sort of hypocritical socialist. Come on. Now. Like, you know, the Labour well, no, they're all hypocrites. But I think the bigger problem is the tax code is too complicated. Oh, you don't have to pay capital gains on your first home, but you, can, you have to pay on your second home, except if you do improvements on it and you can, you yeah. can get that deducted. It's all, we have yeah. such a complicated tax code. Keep things simple, keep t taxes low, stop delegating it to useless people, stop filling Westminster with useless politicians. That's what people are But again, with, not surely with this, we expect better as, as taxpayers.